Good day. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, not bad. Not bad, thanks. Uh, how was school? Busy. We've just started in Candide in French. It's. Mm. Dad, are you okay? Where's Mum? Oh, she's, uh, she's just gone in the kitchen for a bit, make herself a cup of tea. She won't be long. I'll go and find her. Cheer up. Dad, what on earth is going on? Mama's in tears in the kitchen and she won't tell me why. Says I should ask you. What's happening? Oh, it, it's Angie, love. She rang at lunchtime. Your, your, your mum's just a bit upset. I, look, I'm sure we'll sort it. Oh, no. Why can't Angie just leave us alone now? Hasn't she done enough? Mum, what's going on? Will someone tell me, please? Oh, Paul, can you explain, please? I, I just can't... Angie, love, she, she's, she's got a few problems, you know. She's got herself into a mess again. She, she rang and... No, don't let it get to you. Ella, she's pregnant again. She, she wanted our help. What? The stupid bitch. Ella! But she is. Don't be oh, like Oh, come this. on. It'll just be the same thing again. Ella, that's not fair. Oh, yeah, Mum. She's getting to you again. I can feel it. I thought we'd finished with all of that. But, Ella, things have moved on since then. You know they have. Yeah, but, Mum, how is she ever going to look after a child? Where is she living now? Oh, she's, she's still in Exeter, love. Your, your, your mum did ask. She said she's sofa surfing. Oh, yeah, like before. Is she still on drugs, Dad? Did you ask? No, I did not. Because the last time the baby... His name is Caden. Well, Caden then. She was taking drugs then, wasn't she? Poor child, no wonder he was taken Look, away from her. Love, please, we, we have to sort this. We, we've got to decide. Decide what? <laughs> There is nothing to decide. What are you on about? Hold on, what does she want? She asked us... Ella, you, your mum and I, look, we, we've, we've been talking about, about whether we could look after this one, this, this, this child. Look, we were going to discuss it with you, but we just wanted to get our own heads straight first. Do you see, love, we, we were trying to... No way! No way, you're bad. Just look what happened last time. Are you out of your mind? Oh, now what Ella! That's not a very oh. nice thing to say to your mum now, is it? You, you know how... Mum, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that, OK? But... Look, look, we didn't try for Caden. We just walked away, leaving him to be adopted by complete strangers. We never... We ne may never ever see him again. Where's he living? Is he loved? Is he well looked after? What does he even look like? I can't sleep at nights worrying about him. We need to be there for Angie this time. I, I just couldn't cope. I, I'm sorry, I'm not doing all that again. Besides, your dad's at home now, not working. Yes, and she's my sister. 
But you adopted me too. You've forgotten. Well, Ella, that's not fair on your mum. <laughs> Please, can you at least think about it, Ella? Please. But we need to do this as a family. Stick together. Oh, please don't be hard on us, love. I'm really sorry. I, I do understand, really. Please listen to your dad, Ella. Look, you were a baby when we had you. Dad, it's just... Well, Dad, she's just caused so much trouble. Remember how she treated me? And she's my big sister. She's supposed to look after me, but she didn't. She was just horrid. And I've got the scar to prove... Uh. Ella, love, what, whatever happens, you're our top priority now. Honestly, love. Dad. Mum, do you mind? I, I think I need to be on my own for a bit. Maybe listen to some music. Do you mind if I go to my room for a bit? Ella, you know your dad's right. We both love you very much. You, you know we do, don't you? Of course I do. And I love you too. It's just a lot to take in. Off you go. I'll, I'll be up to see you in a bit. Thanks, Paul, for being there for me. You know how much it means to me. Oh, it's all right, love. You know, I'd do anything for you, really. I, I let you down last time. I won't do that again. Paul, I know, I know. I can't think what I'd do without but you. But I, I am worried about all this. Worried about what happens. It made you so unwell and for so long. You've just started to get yourself right again and it's wonderful to see that. I, I just couldn't bear to see you going through all that again. We both went through it. But you know, Paul, we did our best for Angie. We both did. It was just too much, but... It's different now. Oh, but would Angie ever give us any peace if we were looking after her child? And, and Ella, what about her? Oh, dear. Let's take a bit of time to think it over, Paul, OK? But we must stick together, the three of us. I'm a bit worried about Ella right now. Why don't you go up and see her now? Okay. Angie? Angie Chapman? Yeah? I'm Annette Jones. Annette. Oh, yeah? What do you want? Can we sit down? I need to talk to you. There's a court hearing tomorrow about baby. He's called Kai. Kai. OK. Kai. There's a court case about Kai. Yeah, I'm not stupid, I know. So? Well, I need to talk to you about what is going to happen with Kai. What do you mean? You're not taking him off me. You're not doing that to me again. Not like last time. Have you seen your solicitor yet? No, I've spoken to her on the phone and I'm seeing her in court tomorrow. Have you met the Guardian yet? Do you know who I mean? Look, I told you, I'm not stupid. Of course I... Of course I do. And no, I'm seeing her in court too. You see, Angie, the hospital says that you and Kai have to leave here by lunchtime tomorrow. Where do you think you would go with him? I don't know. That's for you lot to sort out. You're not having him. Yes, but, but where would you live with him? My friend Julie said she'd put us up. Anyway, my sister said that Judge would put us both in foster care together. You're not taking him away from me. Well, we have discussed this and I'm afraid that we're going to ask the judge to order that Kai should be on his own in foster care. Just until we can finish some assessments. You, your mum and dad have said they would like to look after, after Kai, so we need to assess them as well. 
My adopted parents, you mean? <laughs> Them? You really are taking the piss. Listen to me. You're not having him and they're not having him. Well, Angie, we'll just have to see what the judge says tomorrow, won't we? Look, piss off. You're not having him. Anyway, you could have done that all before. You knew I was pregnant. But Angie, we tried. We didn't keep in contact, remember? I had nowhere to go. I had nowhere to fucking go, did I? You could still see him a lot, give you a chance to sort things out too. You've got to get off the drugs, Angie. You, you know that. Can't you understand? You're not fucking having him! So you can fuck right off! <sighs> Angie, that's not helping. We need to discuss this. Leave me alone! Katie! Katie! What have you done with the nurse? Leave me alone! Fuck off! Thanks for showing me around. Nice place. Yes, thank you. It is. Plenty of space, isn't there? Sure. Now, I think it might be helpful today just to look at the arrangements for the assessment that the judge has ordered and plan what we're going to do. Yeah, OK, but before we do that, can I check one thing, please? Your colleague Annette Jones wrote a report about us. Can I ask, please, have you seen it? The stage one viability assessment? Yeah, of course I have. Why? Well, because it wasn't very positive about us, was it? Look, I'm sorry to put this so bluntly, but are you just here to rubber stamp what she said? No, no, of course not. I come from a separate team from her and I've been ordered to do a full assessment. It's very different. Anyway, Annette's got a lot of other things on her plate right now too. She's been asked to assess whether Angie and Kai can go to a mother and baby foster placement together now that Angie seems to have been off the drugs for a bit. Oh, well, that's, that's good news, I suppose. We don't want to get in her way at all. We just, we just want to be here for our grandson if Angie can't look after him. Forgive Paul for being so direct about Miss Jones, but you see, it was only after the Guardian and her solicitor spoke to the judge that your barrister accepted that you would carry out this assessment of us all, at all. Can, can you see why we're, well, we're a bit worried, that's all. I, I do understand, really, but the three of us need to work together to make sure that this assessment is fair. I assure you that I will look at it all with a fresh pair of eyes. Well, that's very reassuring. Thank you. It's just that Miss Jones did say some pretty awful things about the way we looked after Angie, why she went off the rails, you know. Yeah, and she, some pretty inaccurate things about your health, darling, as well, didn't she? OK, all right, look, I'm sorry about that. But I'm really keen to use today to plan the assessment sessions, so I think we should keep this first meeting fairly short. Is that OK? I have a lot more reading of the file relating to Caden. And also about Angie and Ella. Ella? Well, why does she need to be involved? We would both like to keep her out of it as, as much as we can. She's 16. She's studying for her A-levels. I'm afraid that I will need to speak to Ella sometime. I'm sure you can see why. Well, no, actually, I can't, actually. It'll merely upset her. It's because this is such an important assessment and I need to understand your family as a whole, OK? Anyway, there are rules, regulations about what my report must cover. Let's just run through the assessment process. It may help if I give you the summary of the topics I need to cover in the report. Oh, oh God. Well, it, it feels like we'll be swimming in a goldfish pot. Look, is all this really necessary? Look, if Ella's going to be involved, why don't you just ask her teachers? They'll tell you what we're like as parents, won't they, Liz? Of course they will. But, well, we do want to help as much as we can. So, please, can you tell us about the assessment sessions? How many will there be? There will probably be about eight, but that would depend a lot on how they go. Eight? How long will they last? 
about an hour. It will all depend, oh. Mr Chapman, how they go. Well, of course it will, yes. Well, we do understand, don't we, Paul? Look, I see that you'll need a summary about us from the medical profession. Can I help by asking our GP to write a letter about us? I've, I've already spoken to him about it. I think that in the circumstances, we'll need a little bit more than that. I'm going to have to ask to give you, to, for you to give me a written authority to request copies of your medical records. What? You're kidding. All of them? Whatever for? Well, I think that there have been some difficulties in the past, haven't there? And we need to understand them and think how they might affect Kai if he was living with you. This is all about me, isn't it? My health, my mental health. I, I knew you'd want to drag all that up again. It's not fair. That was all to, to do with when Angie was going off the rails. It was a terrible time. That's all in the past, can't you see? I, I mean, look at us now. We're fine, really. We're fine. But we need to have a think about how Angie might react if Kai was with you and how that might affect you. Do you see? Whether she would undermine a placement with you. Undermine a placement with us? What does that mean? I, I thought you said you weren't going to be a rubber stamp. Doesn't sound like it to me. Paul? No, seriously, what do you mean undermine the placement? Look, he's our grandson, for God's sake. We are adults. Stop talking down to us. Look, I think we'll leave it there for today. It's been an awful lot for you to take in and... It's been good to meet you and I've got your email address and I think that I'll email you to explain how the sessions will run, OK? Thank you. I am sorry. It, it's all very difficult to understand. Have you thought about getting legal advice? Oh, yes, we tried. We can't get legal aid, we were told. And now I've retired, we can't afford to spend thousands of pounds on lawyers. We were hoping you people might be able to help us get some advice. Um, I'll ask and get back to you, but I can't make any promises. Our budgets are very tight. Anyway, I'd better go. Thanks for the tea. <laughs> Paul, we have to be nice to them. Try to get them on our side. Please don't fall out with her. She's the key to us getting Kai with us. His family, where he belongs. Liz, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm, I'm scared of these people. I'm scared of what Angie may do. I, I'm scared for Ella. And I'm really scared of what this is doing to us. Before I broke for lunch, I explained the background facts of this sad case and the law that I have to apply to it. I have also recorded that the threshold criteria in section 31 of the 1989 Act are fulfilled and that at the time these proceedings were started, shortly following Kai's birth, he was likely to suffer significant harm. I have completed my welfare analysis balancing the pros and cons of each option that has presented itself to the court in relation to Kai's welfare. I now wish to consider each of the main options and the positions that the main family members in turn by reference to the welfare checklist factors in section 1-4 of the 2002 Act. Overall, and very sadly, it is evident that this mother is simply not able to meet the needs of this baby boy, despite her heartfelt wish that she should do so. There is no doubt that she loves Kai, and over the past three months, whilst has managed to meet his basic care needs, whilst fully supported in a mother and baby foster placement. However, her recent engagement in drug rehabilitation has to be set against her lengthy history of street work, addiction and previous parenting history. Those difficulties are such entrenched parts of her background that I have profound doubts about her ability to derive in the long term any sustained benefit 
from the support and rehabilitative measures that are available to her. To that must be added her learning disability, which I consider serves as a further barrier to effective and sustained intervention. I agree with the psychologist that her own childhood has left her with such disadvantages that any benefit that might inure from untested therapeutic input is now out with the timescales of this child. If he is adopted, Kai will have all the advantages of a stable, secure and loving new family. Kai is of an age where he cannot wait any longer. He would suffer through neglect in the mother's care and it would be emotionally harmful to him if these proceedings were delayed any further. No amount of professional support would now surmount this mother's difficulties and her continued but concealed contact with the father signals how ineffective supervision would be. As to Kai's father, I have every sympathy with him and his family that his life and mental fortitude have been so invaded by the tragic accident that happened to him when he was 15 years old, but his mental health, current addiction, homelessness and chaotic lifestyle render him completely incapable of meeting Kai's needs. He failed to attend court until the second day of this five-day hearing and did not attend to be assessed as to whether he had mental capacity or as to whether he needed an intermediary. It was not possible for the local authority to carry out a parenting assessment because he did not attend appointments and he is not able to put forward any positive proposals as to how he might care for Kai or even have contact with him. As to the maternal grandparents, I agree with the assessments of the local authority and the evidence of the Guardian. I accept that, since they adopted the mother as a four-year-old, they have faced enormous challenges, but it is quite evident that the task that befell them has taken a huge toll upon their family. I reject their application for a special guardianship order for the five main reasons identified by the social worker, Miss Timms, and the Guardian when they gave their evidence. Those reasons are these. One, despite their very best intentions, the grandparents, especially the mother, would never be able to assert themselves as Kai's carers over the mother. Two, the mother would not leave them alone to care for Kai and I find it is highly likely that she would undermine the placement of Kai with them. Three, the mother's past conduct to the grandparents has had a profoundly damaging effect on their emotional and mental well-being and also the mo emotional and mental well-being of their younger daughter, Ella. It nearly split this thoroughly decent family apart. There is a significant risk that the same damage would be repeated. Four. 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 The grandparents, who I accept, have looked after their younger daughter, Ella, very well, do not understand the need for professional input if Kai were to be living with them despite the complexity that this arrangement would bring. Five. As the mother admitted in her evidence, the grandparents <coughs> knew that the mother and father had been in contact with each other in breach of the agreement that was recorded on the face of the order at the issues resolution hearing. They did not bring this to anyone's attention. I can't do this. No, you can't do this. I'll do anything if you'll let us. Miss Chapman, 
You're going to have to sit quietly, please. No, you shouldn't be doing this. We don't deserve you. Stop interrupting, please. Yes, you're not being fair. There is nothing wrong with our marriage. We have been married How many times do I need to tell you don't lot. interrupt? If you listen, you will understand. It's yes, very we simple. We've even got a lawyer here to help us. I don't understand why you're Look, saying all this. You just need to I... listen to what I am saying. Totally if you don't understand why something, I'm sure the Guardian will explain it to you afterwards. We have no idea they were seeing could we? Look, to stop interrupting, oh, please. Do you want to see a picture of him? This is the little boy you're talking no, about. No, I do not want to see a photo of him. And your constant interruptions... This is our grandson. You're very unhelpful. That's a very legal idea of yours. You're going to have to stop interrupting, or I'll have to order you to leave court. This is our little grandson we are talking about here. Do you know? This is Carl. I am therefore driven to the conclusion that it is necessary and proportionate for care and placement orders to be made, and turning to the domestic law of this country, I conclude that it is in the paramount interest of this little boy throughout his life that those orders should be put in place. In these exceptional, and I should say exceptionally sad circumstances, no other orders are compatible with Kai's welfare. Pursuant to Section 521B of the Adoption and Children Act 2002, I dispense with the consent of the mother and of the father to the placement of Kai for adoption on the grounds that his welfare so requires. I make care and placement orders in relation to him. The local authority care plan proposes that the mother should have diminishing contact over the next two months before all direct contact between her and Kai ceases, following a farewell contact session. Thereafter, it proposes that there should be annual letterbox contact only for both the mother and the father. I approve that care plan. The local authority will e-file the order, please, within seven days. If the legal representatives could stay behind to sort out a schedule of contact for the mother, legal aid forms can be sent up through the court clerk. Thank you. What does that all mean? I'm afraid that it means that Kai is going to be adopted. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? What have I done wrong? Why have you done this? You have no idea what you've done, do you? Angie, you need to talk to your solicitor about this outside. It's not going to help to chat with the judge or me. What's happening? Come on, let's, let's get out of here. The lawyers need to discuss things. I'm sure your solicitor will join us in a few minutes. Oh. Angie doesn't really understand what's happening. Can you explain it to her? Piss off, Mum. Please don't be like that, Angie, love. Your dad and I just want to be with you to help. Come on, love. Oh, yeah, help? Just fuck off, would you? You've done enough. Angie. Leave me alone. C come on, Liz, come over here with me. Angie, I am really sorry. I know how painful this is for you. Look, I don't understand. Why has the judge done that? What did all that shit mean? Am I ever going to see Kai again? Fuck. This is so unfair. Angie, she said, she said that Kai can't come back to you. You need to speak to your solicitor when she comes out of court. But that's not fair. It's not fucking fair. I thought I was doing so well. I've really tried. You know that. I know you've tried, Angie. I, I know you have. There have just been too many problems. I'm really sorry. But he's my son. He's mine. Nobody else's. He's my flesh and blood. He's a part of me. Angie, there's nothing more I can say. I'm 
so sorry. Look, I need to speak to the Guardian before she goes. I need to sort out some arrangements. Hold on. You can't just walk off like that. I need to know what's happening. Can I still see him? Kai, can I still see him? Well, the judge has said that you can see him a few times while a new home is found for him. Then what? Then contact stops, I'm afraid. What? For good? I'm afraid so, Angie. Why? It's just not fair. He's my son. I want to see him. You can't do this. Anyway, where am I supposed to go? Where am I going to go? Where can I live? I've got nowhere to fucking go now, have I? Can I still stay at Sandra's? No, I'm, I'm afraid that you can't. I'm, I'm afraid that you can't live with Kai anymore. It, it, it just wouldn't be right, not now. I'm, I know, I'm really sorry. I, I know it's really hard. Hard? Yeah, it's fucking hard. I've lost my kid and I've... I've got nowhere to fucking live, have I? Could you go and stay with your mum and dad? Kai is going to stay with Sandra, you see, until they find adopters for him. I can't stay with them. They caused all this shit in the first place. Didn't you? Didn't you? You caused this. You shouldn't have adopted me in the first place. My mum was so much better than you, wasn't she? And you want Kai to be adopted. Look where adoption got me. Look where it fucking got me. You heard what the judge said. If they had looked after me better, I wouldn't even be here. You fucked up my life, didn't you? Angie, please stop it. Please stop it, love. I'm, I'm afraid that the best we can do is find a place in a hostel for you. Look, I need to phone Sandra. Then we'll have to give you a lift back, OK? What? Go with you bastards. You're fucking kidding, right? You've just taken my son off me. You're evil. Angie, is the best I can do. You just need to go to the hostel tonight until something else can be sorted out. What? You mean a hostel full of tramps and pedos? What about all my stuff? It's still in the foster home. You can collect it from our offices tomorrow. We'll pick it up for you. Oh, well, I'm totally fucked now, aren't I? Angie, I'm really sorry. Yeah, like fuck you are. See what you've done. Well, I'm, I'm Phil. Phil, you know. So, like, why am I here? Like, why the fuck am I here? <sighs> well, Jan, she, well, she helps me. She says she does. She said I should uh, tell my, my door. Re? <laughs> Do. Re. See? I can say it. Yeah. Jan taught me that. Well, here it is, eh? Boom! I was alright till I was fifth. Live with my mum and dad. My, my big lad, John. 
my little sister May, sweet May. <laughs> but my mum, she, she was my mum, like, you, you know what I mean. So, I don't know. I fucked it, man. <laughs> fucked it. And the rest. So how me, like this, Us Jan, she, she went to the place that it happened. Me, you know, on, on my bike. And this bitch, this stupid fucking bitch. My head, smack. The bit you walk on. Next. I see kids where I, it's not my home, it's where I live now. I see them going to school on their bike. <laughs> they're okay. They don't wear any fucking, they're okay. So why me, eh? Why did it have to be me? Tell me that, I know you can't, no you fucking can't, no one can. <laughs> my mum, three months of that's what they say. Good sleep, was that eh? Fuck off. Come on, Phil, left foot. Now your right foot. Well done, Phil. My mum, she was there all the time. I'm not stupid. Huh? I said I'm, I'm not fucking stupid. No, I, I, I know what I want. Why don't you just get me those trainers, eh? I like the Nike ones. Makes me feel good, all right? Just do it. She said, nah, so... I smacked it. I fucking wish I hadn't. And then Johnny has got me by the throat. I'll do what the walls should have done. We'll do it, John. Just fucking do it, eh? Mate, she's crying. My dad said, get off him, just stop. So I fucked off, eh, didn't I? How? Just went to my mate, top. Omi's house, eh? Had a good shag, eh? Fucking hell. Nah, nah, his sister Flo, eh? What? Flo, yeah, me on my back, I like that. She's up the duff. What? Fuck off. Me, a dad? No, get out. So out I goes, eh? Where? Fuck those. Eh? There's a there's a joke that this lad, he's got a condom on his nose. Who are you, eh? Fuck knows. <laughs> yeah, Steve told me that one. Steve is a laugh. That's where I met Ange. On the street, eh? Yeah, yeah, there, there was this suit, he, he wore a suit, paid cash like, it was good for the crack. <sighs> She's up the duff too, eh? Fucking hell, huh? Nice one, Phil. So I won't walk about, yeah. It's all good, man. And the drugs, yeah. Great. You got any? Hey? What? No. No. <laughs> well, you can all fuck off home then, eh? Show's over. Don't need you. Out. Angie? Oh, Angie, thank God. I've been searching for you everywhere. You shouldn't have bothered. Go away. Please, just leave me alone. Angie, your, your mum, she... Oh, please come home, Angie. I'm not coming. 
And she's not my mum. Tell her that. Oh, she is your mum. She misses you. I miss you, Angie. Angie, please. And what about Ella? What's she going to say? She hates me. She'll come round in time. Look, please, let's try. Try? What do you mean, try? Angie, we, we want to help. Look after you to, to try again. Oh, yeah? Well, look what happened last. No. Go away. Leave me alone. You're wasting your time. No, I'm not wasting my time. You have no idea, do you? Look, I know where you are if I want you. Just go. Leave me alone. I... I... Go! Oh... Yeah? What are you staring at, eh? So yeah, that was my dad. Look, what do you want? Angie, it's Annette, you know. Fuck off. I know who you are. Look, Angie, do you fancy a coffee, a chat? What are you like, a chat with you? Angie. I'm sorry. So you should be. What are you even doing here? Piss off, would you? Angie. How can you do I... your job? Tell me that. How? Sometimes, you know, I... I just don't know. I don't know. This isn't why I do this job. Oh, yeah? Look, I'm just sorry. Can I talk to you? You see, I... I don't know. Maybe we're not that different. Yes, we are. You took my kid away. I... I'm sorry. Can I sit down, Angie? Please. Here, I got this for you. What? How? <sighs> I, you know, I, I've seen you here. You make much money sitting here? Not really. Shit during the day, anyway. So, what's occurring? What's occurring? You Welsh now? No, I mean... Angie, how are you? Oh, yeah? <sighs> Not that shit, do I? Yeah? What I meant was, you're not going down the beat anymore? The beat? Fuck off. You mean rehab. Waste of fucking time. Angie, and this isn't... Isn't what? A waste of fucking time. At least it pays. How? How does it pay? How does it pay? Look, I do this until it gets dark and then, you know... How do you think it pays? It's all I've got left. You mean... Yeah, whatever. What do you lot expect? How am I supposed to live, eh? I don't remember you helping when... Where were you staying? Didn't you have somewhere before? Yeah, I did, but that was before... Before what? Before you... What do you actually want? You know, look, I just wanted to check that you're okay. Okay? Would you be? Would you, though? No, Manji, I wouldn't. I'm... Don't! Don't say sorry, fucking liar. You took him. You took my son. 
My little boy. What's left now? You tell me. What's left now? What would you do? I... I can't do this. I'm so... Don't! No, I am. I am so sorry, Angie. I've, I've got kids too. Please. Look, what is it you want? Take my next kid? Is that why you're here? What do you mean? You At the death. Give you another kid to take away. I'm not that stupid. Yes. But Angie, how long before you do get pregnant again? What happens then if you're like this? Yeah, well, I won't hang around for you lot. You can get help, Angie, if you do it now. I want to help. You sound like... like my dad. You're all the same. No, we're not. And anyway, there are other people who can help that I could put you in touch with. Not when I've had two kids removed already. Yes, there are. There's a thing called the Pauls Project. They help mothers who have had other kids taken away. Mothers who hurt like you do. They... What's happened to me? Why? I'm not... I was... No. I... Angie, I, I know. Will you do something for me, please? Will you come see me again? I... I... And that I... I miss my kids. It hurts. I know. No, you don't. You never will. You pretend they're with me. Talk to them. All the time. My kids. I don't even know anything about them anymore. Why don't you let me see if the adopters will write to say how they are? Maybe you could write to them. You're allowed to do that once a year. Would, would that help? Annette, look. Thanks. No. Can you leave me alone, please? I need to get my head together. Angie? Look, you've been very kind, but, but please, really. OK, but I will come back and find you tomorrow, Angie. Promise. And Angie, don't give up. We can sort this. What the fuck? Yeah? What are you doing here? I came to find you. Dad told me, you know, where you were. Please. What? I came all this way, Angie. I needed to see you and... Look, there's nothing to see. So just go home. No, Angie. There are... Things to say, things I need to say. Yeah? Like what? Say them and then go home. All the same to me. Like, I'm sorry. I got it all wrong. Like, I miss my sister. Like, I don't know. Like, I should have helped with Kai. Got you home. It's my fault. I'm so sorry, Angie. Please, don't cry. Please, don't. There's been too much of that. 
Anyway, there's no way I can come home. After what I did. What I was like. A cigarette burn. Mum, Dad and the rest. Yeah, the fucking rest. You weren't always like that. You see, I remembered what you used to be like, how you looked after me and stood up for me. Yeah, but listen, kid, that was a long time ago. A lot's happened since. Can't undo all that, can we? No. But we can go back to how we were. How we should be. You're the only real family I have, and I don't want to lose you. Please. Kiddo, it's too late for that. Look at me. I'm fucked, aren't I? Drugs. Nowhere to go. Look at me. Angie, it's, it's not too late. It's not. You can't say that. You can't go on like this. I mean, where does this all end? Where is this? Where is this leading? I'm not stupid. Look, stop crying. You get me started. No, you are not. You can't keep trashing your body. Living on the streets, you and I both know where it'll lead. When did you last eat? Earlier. When? Earlier, all right. Can't someone help you get off the drugs? Get into rehab? Piss off. They just want my kids. You've got to trust someone. Look at you. How? How am I going to trust who? Why? Why not? Why not? Look at me. It didn't work last time, did it? But you were doing it on your own, weren't you? So what's new? I want to help this time. <laughs> you? You're fucking kidding, right? You're just a kid. I'll come with you. I can ring him. Be with you when you go. Go? Where? The social... You've got to trust them. Stupid bitch. Stupid fucking bitch. How? How? <laughs> you can't stay here. Not all the time, but, but sometimes. Mum and dad. Bastards. My kids. What about... What about me and my kids? What? Never mind them. What about me? You? Yeah? Yeah. Me. Buy one, get one free. Two of us. You used to be... You were so kind to me. Looked after. Ella, what do you want? Listen. I'm not going back tonight. I've sent a text to mum and dad, turned my phone off. Oh yeah? So where are you sleeping then? Here. With you. If you can do it, I can. At least for one night. But... <laughs> Fuck. I am hungry. That's... <laughs> you stink. No, it's you. Close up. Smells like my big sister. <laughs> you said. I can't. Oh, fuck off. Let's just go. Go! I'll ring. Cheats? Well, she can... I'll ring. Annette? Hi. 
It's Ella? Angie? Yeah. Outside. Okay. Angie. Thanks, Ella. I'll just sit here. I'll be here. Go on. Look after her. She's my sister. <laughs>